Hi everyone, you may notice I'm standing in a huge vacant lot. And you may be wondering why I'm standing in a huge vacant lot. And the reason for that is uh, because I kind of want to put the museum here. But I want to make it fancy first. This is probably going to be part speed build as much as anything else. I don't really think there's much point for me to be doing any commentary. You can watch what I'm doing and chances are if you have done any terraforming at all, which I'm sure you have, then um, none of this is going to be super surprising. I'm not really that great at terraforming. I generally just do a lot of playing around and hoping for the best. This shines space, I think it is 12 by 14. The museum is annoyingly seven squares wide, so the museum is not going to be exactly centered on this, so I need to figure out how to deal with that. Yeah, I actually had tried the, um, there is an island planner app that someone created, which is great. Thank you so much to that person for making that app. I'm afraid I can't remember their name off the top of my head, but I did try playing around with it. I couldn't really figure out how I wanted things to go, so I'm just gonna wing it. We're just, we're just winging it here on Borahe. Uh, oh yes, also, you may have noticed a change. I don't- okay, so in my last villager hunt video, which technically I filmed yesterday, today is September 3rd, I let the lot autofill and I actually got Wade, the penguin, who is super cute, but I really wanted Antonio and Wade is a lazy villager. I didn't need another lazy villager. I already have two. I think I've said that a million times already. So I have Antonio, who is a precious little anteater, who is a jock. He's pretty cute. I'm excited to be friends with him and give him things. I'm probably one of the few people out there who actually likes Antonio, but uh, here we are. Oh, this is another surprise. I also now have Ken. <laughs> I did a lot of time traveling yesterday. I really like Ken. I think he's super cute. I think he fits my island, which is purple and black. Uh, yep, yeah, guess that's about it. I should, uh, oh, and the shop is going to be moved. So the shop's going to be here. The tailor shop is going to be in this spot here. This is turning into an update on my island rather than me actually playing around at the museum. And there is still so much that I need to do, but I guess we will start with the museum. Insert speed build progress here.
Okay, so I ended up stopping the recording process while I could play around with this section here. It was basically a lot of trial and error and finagling to get everything how I wanted it to look. But I think this is it, and uh, Antonio doesn't know that you can't fish in waterfalls. I mean, in real life I think you can. I love how he just kind of like gave me a look. I ended up breaking my rules a little bit and breaking through this fence that I have to put this waterfall in. Waterfalls just instantly make things look better, I feel, personally. I am not sure what to do with the back side of the museum though, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I don't think anyone will see it. I didn't give him all the money I need to give him. Uh, I should probably do that. I think my museum looks how I want it to look, which is very similar to what I used to have, but I feel like it's a little bit upgraded. Also, my island is an absolute disaster at the moment. Excellent. Yeah, it's much more off-center than maybe I would prefer. There's not really much I can do about that because of the way the museum is. It is 7x4 squares, so it just doesn't... You can't center it anyway, no matter what you do, so you might as well go with it. You might as well have your museum be kind of off-center. And maybe it's a little... It's a little strange? I don't know. I like it. I think it turned out okay. I'll probably change it eventually, but for right now, I'm I'm pretty pleased with it. I think the way this is kind of bothers me. I don't really know how I could fix it necessarily. It's fine. I'm just I'm just going to accept the way it is. If I figure out how to fix the things that are bothering me, I'll get back to you. I like it. I think it turned out well. So I'm going to stop nitpicking my own work. That was my museum speed build, and I'm not sure how long that took me. I think an hour and a half, but some of it was just me playing around with things because I'm too much of a perfectionist. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.